happy to anyone who's interested in early and mid-century um, office stationery. I picked up this wonderful hole punch yesterday in a flea market in Vienna and for six euros after haggling a little bit of haggling um, it was kind of a no-brainer to buy it. It's what a chunk of machinery really. It weighs just short of a kilo about 986 grams and it's brilliantly mechanical solid. I mean I love the I love the mechanism and design of it. Look at that. That's really going to push holes through a ream of, well, not a ream, but quite a bit of paper. Um, I've already done some very light sanding to this section here. And I've used a couple of wipes to try and clean off the surface. It was a bit dusty and mucky, as you can imagine. Um, but it's taking a ton of nicotine off, which is really gross. Uh, but what I would like to do is, you know, if you know me by now, that when I buy things, I really like to clean them up. And you can see it's not so bad inside there. I've given that a, a little gentle sand at the moment. But the spring and that bar at the bottom, uh, and probably the bar at the top a little bit, I wouldn't mind running a little bit of light sanding paper over that or some paper just to freshen it up a bit. Um, kind of it's a bit mucky and, and maybe slightly rusty in there. But it's like solid cast. It's, uh, it's a really cool piece of um, office machinery. Um, it's got the name Favorite, and I don't have any other marks on it to, to identify where it was made. I don't know, Favorite being um, like a German word for favorite. Um, I can only assume that possibly Germany or Austria it was made in, particularly as I bought it here in Vienna, but I'm not sure. So if anybody um, has knowledge of where this uh, hole punch might have been made, I'd really appreciate it if you can... Um, put a comment in there and let me know. I'm interested in the approximate date of production or, or how who produced it and in what country. And uh, I intend to take this little screw out here and I've got a hole punch here, well a punch, and I'm just going to gently tap out this bar which I think is going to release the mechanism um, inside there and that will allow me to clean these parts up I hope a little bit better. Um, I don't want to lose the patina, I'm not going to go crazy on it, particularly as the handle is, oh, I really like that effect on it, it's really worn, years of, of use have worn it into that nice sort of metallic grey colour, but um, it does still harbour a bit of nicotine, although it feels much better now, but I will give it a few more wipe downs to try and remove as much as I can, um, but look, I just love the mechanics of it, but will it focus, that's really cool isn't it? I mean, that's a really strong piece of uh, machinery that's not going to break down in a, in a while. Uh, I don't want to touch up the paint or anything like that because, uh, you know, again, I want to retain the age of it. Um, but I think that's a cool, th tiny little project to work on now that I've finished working on my typewriters. And there is a brand of typewriter called Fabric, which that's why I, well, it partly caught my eye. But I saw it and I thought, oh, that's cool. So I'll come back to you when I finish cleaning it all up and let you see it in action. As you can see, I fully dismantled the hole punch. Um, I had to remove these little, they're almost like a collar uh, that holds that bar on. Um, very, very soft metal, um, but um, they'll they'll easily crimp back on afterwards. They just need a bit of a clean up. Interestingly, the bar across um, where the, this collar was sitting on, that was either side, that's through this part here. Um, it's a bit bent didn't seem to affect the operation maybe it's meant to be like that but it needs a really good clean up and a little bit of grease as you can see oh, don't use a little screw there nice access now to the uh the springs so i can get that nice and clean let's get that focus there um and again this bar in the middle that holds the top of the punches um very oily and dirty very very grubby but i'm sure that'll clean up nice uh, this one, this one seems pretty okay. You can see it's still got that shape. And, I mean, it's not sharp, but it seems to be okay. But this one, hmm, that literally would be punching a hole. It's almost flat. So I'm curious as to whether I can gently file it with a circular file in the middle to try and bring the edge back up again on that. That'd be interesting having a go at that. Not sure that's the correct way to do it, but... It can't make it any worse than that. That is literally just punt forcing a hole through the paper. But I'm sure we can improve that a little bit. 
So uh, yeah, I'm just going to a little bit of fun tinkering and cleaning these parts up now. Okay, so I've given everything a little clean and uh, sanding down with some paper just to get the, uh, well, there wasn't much rust on it, but just some rough edges and some of the built up grime on it. Um, I did try to put this in a, in a vise and I'm a bit uncomfortable about bashing that too much. So I might put this, reinstall this slightly bent. It didn't seem to impact the action of it. So, uh, you know, if I had the right equipment, I'd probably try and hammer that down, but I haven't. So I'm going to leave that one alone. Um, cleaned up these bars, um, filed the edge of, uh, oh, this one. Yeah, this one was, this was the one actually that was really flat. And I've given it a little bit of an edge with a file, a round file. And this was the original one, which was okay, but I've just, again, filed it down a wee bit just to give it an edge back on. Uh, cleaned all these little collars up. They're looking much nicer now. And did a nice job of getting all the grease out of those springs. Polished it all up. In fact, I cleaned the, um, these two again with a cloth to get rid of some more nicotine. And I've actually rubbed this down with some car wax to bring the shine up a little bit um, but everything's nice and clean now so it's a case of reassembly I'll probably use a little bit of uh, sewing machine oil just in certain parts I wasn't sure whether to use grease but I think I'll stick with just a light oil and see uh, how it goes there so I'll come back to you in a moment so it wasn't too difficult reassembling the hole puncher it went very smoothly just slotted these pins into this one here. Um, I had to line up the hole for this pin and I needed an extra pair of hands to push it through and get the spring underneath located here. But actually it wasn't too difficult and it looks nice and clean now. Nice and shiny, no clogged up bits of dust and oil. Um, and I'll just very quickly demonstrate it. So after filing the hole, the, the, the um, punch down on that one side, a nice quite a nice clean punch through that's with two sheets of paper let's see what it's like with four again nice clean punching through uh eight can we do eight let's try that i think i just i did it earlier with eight and it was no problem so i'll pop that through goes under that little shiny lip there i'll go around this way this time a bit easier And there you have it. Certainly eight shoots is pretty good. Uh, nice, neat, clean holes. So that's the favorite hole punch. Um, I won't say restored. I would say just cleaned up. It's a really nice sort of mid, I don't know. It could be anything from 1920s onwards, but maybe more towards the 1950s. Cast iron. It's nice and clean now. And yeah, I'm very happy with that. That was six euros at a flea market in Vienna but if you know any information about this I'd really appreciate it if you put it in the comments or if you have one and know how old it is so thank you for watching